everyone! Welcome to our third video tutorial in basic calculus. In today's video, we're going to discuss calculating limits of transcendental functions and indeterminate forms. So let's first discuss the definition of transcendental functions. These are functions that are not algebraic. Examples of transcendental functions include the exponential functions, the trigonometric functions, the inverse functions of both, and the logarithmic functions. So here are some examples. For exponential functions, we have the following. Number 1, f of x is equal to 7 raised to 3x minus 5. And number 2, f of x is equal to 2 over 3 raised to 5x minus 9. So kung naaalala natin ang definition ng exponential functions, ito ay functions na merong exponential expressions. Okay? Number two, lo logarithmic functions. Number one, uh, example, f of x is equal to the logarithm of x squared plus 5x plus 9 with base 5. And number two, f of x is equal to the logarithm of 3x minus 9 all over x squared plus 7 with base 10. Okay, so kung naaalala natin, kapag walang nakalagay dyan na base, automatic na 10 yung base na. Okay? Next, a trigonometric function. So, here are some examples. Number 1, f of x is equal to sine x squared plus 5x plus 6 and f of x is equal to tangent x over sine 2x. Okay? So, let's proceed. Um, discuss naman natin ano naman yung indeterminate forms na tinatawag. So, an indeterminate form is an expression involving two functions whose limit cannot be determined solely from the limits of the individual functions. To find the value of an indeterminate form of type 0 over 0, it is essential to apply factoring or by rationalizing. Actually, class, marami tayong indeterminate forms. But for this presentation, ang i-discuss natin ay yung gantong type. Uh, initially, kapag Inaral natin yung limit ng function, pag sinubstitute natin yung constant, ito yung lalabas sa kanya, 0 over 0. Ngayon, aaralin natin, how are we going to calculate the limit kung ganun yung case? So, let's start with example number 1. Evaluate the given limit of a function but by observing the table of values. So, ang given natin is the limit of 2 raised to x plus 2 as x approaches 1. So, apparently, meron tayo ditong exponential um, function, di ba? Itong 2 raised to x plus 2. So, the, li uh, the limit of an exponential function. So, sabi dito, we're going to find its limit using the table of values. So, kagaya class ng ginawa natin doon sa ating first video tutorial. So, i-locate muna natin yung constant natin sa number line. So, ang constant natin here is 1. So, nandito siya sa number line. So, again, ang number line, it extends at both directions. Ayan. So, ang nasa left niya ay 0, nasa right ay 2. So, kukuha muna tayo ng values from the left of the constant na papalapit dito. Okay? So, ito yung table of values natin. So, from 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.99, 0 0.999. So, ang ginawa lang natin, class... Kumuha tayo ng x value sa kaliwa ng 1 na papalakpit sa kanya. So, kinuha natin 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.99, 0 0.999. So, as mentioned on the previous video tutorials, ang gagawin lang natin, habang lumalapit yung x value sa ating constant, which is 1, sa anumang value papalapit yung makukompute natin na f of x. Okay? So, makukuha natin dyan yung left, ay uh, yung one-sided limit natin. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin is evaluate lang. So, isa-substitute lang natin yung x dito sa ating function. So, una, 0. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng 2 raised to 0 plus 2. So, magkakaroon ka ng 2 squared. And 2 squared ay equal sa 2 times 2, equal yun sa 4. Ayun ang gagawin natin, class, hanggang dito sa dulo. Hanggang dito sa 0 0.999. So, pwede nyo itry. And then, i-pause nyo muna yung video and then, tingnan natin kung pareho tayo na makukuha. Okay? So, upon doing that, ito yung mga makukuha natin na function values. Okay? So, by observing the this table of values, habang lumalapit yung x dun sa ating constant na 1, 
kung mapapansin nyo, papalapit yan sa 1, sa ang value, papalapit yung ating f of x na mga na-compute. Okay, sa 8. Ibig sabihin, the limit of 2 raised to x plus 2 as x approaches 1 from the left. So again, yung negative sign na exponent ng constant natin, um, nagpapakita yon na yung kinuha nating x values ay from the left of the constant. So from the left is equal to 8. Okay, so yan yung isa sa one-sided limit na kailangan natin kunin. Okay, so let's proceed uh, naman doon sa from the right. So again, maglulocate tayo ng x values na papalapit kay 1 from the right naman ng number line. So in this case dito, ano? So ang kinuha natin sa table natin, so from 2, 1.5, 1.01, 1.0001. Papalapit sa 1. Okay? So, ganun pa rin. Um, we're going to substitute these x values dito sa ating function. Kukunin natin yung corresponding function value ng bawat isa. So, dun sa una, sa 2. So, palitan lang natin ng 2 yung ating x sa function natin. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 2 raised to 2 plus 2. Ang 2 plus 2 is 4. So, magkakaroon ng 2 raised to 4. So, equal yun sa 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 16. So, ayun lang ulit ang gagawin dun sa remaining natin na function values. Okay? So, pakicompute and tingnan natin kung pareho tayo nang makukuha. So, ayan. Ito yung mga uh, function values. Ayan. So, observe ulit natin, class. Habang lumalapit yung x values natin sa so 1 from the right, saan naman value papalapit yung ating f of x? Tingnan natin, saan papunta? Okay, sa 8 then. Hence, the limit of 2 raised to x plus 2 as x approaches 1 from the right is equal to 8. So, nakuha na natin ngayon yung one-sided limits natin. And take note, again, uh, kagaya nung binanggit natin dun sa previous video tutorials natin, kapag equal yung one-sided limits natin, uh, it only means that um, our, the limit exists and kung ano yung value na yun, dun equal yung limit ng no ating function. So, hence, the limit of 2 raised to x plus 2 as x approaches 1 is equal to 8. Yan. Ngayon, class, nakuha natin yung limit ng function natin using or by observing the table of values. Now, let's use a different approach. So, we're going to evaluate the given limit by using theorem number 2. So, pareho yung given na gagamitin natin, pero di ibang approach naman yung itatry natin. So, ang given pa rin natin is the limit of 2 raised to x plus 2 as x approaches 1. So, according to theorem number 2, ayan class ay kung natatandaan natin dun sa previous discussion natin kasama yan, dun sa ating uh, limit theorems. So, the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 is just equal to f of 1. So, sa makatuwid, yung constant natin, isa substitute lang natin to all the x's doon sa ating function. So, ang function dito sa given natin is f of x is equal to 2 raised to x plus 2. So, again, ang gagawin natin, we're going to compute for f of 1. So, lahat ng x dito ay papalitan natin ng 1. So, we'll have f of 1 is equal to 2 raised to 1 plus 2. And 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So, we'll have 2 raised to 3 uh, na equal sa 2 times 2 times 2 na equal sa 8. Hence, the limit of 2 raised to x plus 2 as x approaches 1 is equal to 8. So, kapareho kanina nung nakuha natin. Okay? Next. Let's now take a look at the sketch of the graph of the given function. So, ito yung graph, a uh, sketch yung graph nung 2 raised to x plus 2. So, again, ang constant natin is 1. Okay? So, ito yung 1. Kung mapapansin natin, class, habang lumalapit yung x values natin sa 1, galing sa kaliwa, papalapit naman yung ating y values sa 8. Okay? And habang lumalapit naman yung x values natin sa 1 from the right, papalapit din yung ating y values sa 8. Okay? Hence, the limit of 2 raised to x plus 2 as x approaches 1 is equal to 8. 
we need to consider the following formulae. The limit of a raised to x as x approaches infinity is equal to positive infinity. So kung titingnan natin class yung sketch ng graph, habang papunta yung ating x value sa positive infinity, yung y values naman natin ay papunta rin sa positive infinity. Okay, so kung mapapansin natin, mag extend yan infinitely pataas. And the limit of a raised to x as x approaches negative infinity is equal to 0. So habang papunta naman yung x values natin sa negative uh, infinity, ibig sabihin papunta yan sa kaliwang side, sa negative side, infinitely, yung y values naman natin ay papunta sa 0. So kung mapapansin nyo, nag approach siya sa 0. Provided that a is greater than 1. Next, uh, let's have example number 2. Evaluate the given limit of a function by observing the table of values. So, ganun ulit ang gagawin. Uh, tingnan muna natin yung table of values. So, ang given natin dito is the limit of the logarithm of 3x plus 1 as x approaches 3. So, again, ilocate natin yung constant na 3 sa number line. And then, we'll uh, get x values from the left of 3 na papalapit dito. So, kinuha natin ay 2, 2.5, 2.99, Ngayon, ganun ulit. We're going to substitute um, the x values, these x values sa ating function, and then, co-compute natin yung corresponding function values natin. Ayan. Sige. So, class, um, sige, I'll teach you how to use your calculator muna para ma-observe natin yung uh, uh, table of values natin. Okay? So, kindly take a look at this. Ayan. So, class, again, kapag walang nakalagay diyan na base, automatic ang base niyan ay 10. So, substitute lang yung x natin. Ang x natin dito ay 2 dun sa una. So, sa substitute lang yon So, we have the logarithm of 3 times 2 plus 1 with base 10. Ang na-compute na sagot is 0 0.84 So, 0 0.84509804. Ayan. Hence, yan. Ayan yun dun sa una. Okay? So, for the remaining um, function values, sige, pakicompute. At ito yung ating makukuha. Ayan. So, ngayon class, habang lumalapit yung x values natin sa 3 from the left, so, pansin natin, uh, papalapit yung x values natin sa 3, saan naman papalapit na value yung ating computed function values? Saan papalapit? Yan, so 1. So, hence, the limit of the logarithm of 3x plus 1 as x approaches 3 from the left is equal to 1. Okay? Next tayo. Sa, sa kabilang side naman, class. So, from the right. Kuha tayo again ng x values from the right na papalapit sa constant natin na 3. So, ito yung kinuha nating uh, values dun sa table. So, we have 4, 3.5, 3.01, 3.0001. So, like what we did earlier, substitute lang natin yung x values natin dito sa ating function. So, ito yung compute natin. And again, observe natin, habang lumalapit yung x value sa 3 from the right, saan naman papuntang value yung ating f of x? Okay, good, ba? So, the limit of the logarithm of 3x plus 1 with base 10 as x approaches 3 from the right is also equal to 1. Since equal yan, therefore, the limit exists and the limit of the logarithm of 3x plus 1 with base 10 as x approaches 3 is equal to 1. Okay, class, let's proceed. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, class, um, try naman natin kunin yung limit ng given function natin using a different approach. So, evaluate the given limit of a function by using uh, theorem number 2. So, again, ang given natin is the limit of the logarithm of 3x plus 1 with base 10 as x approaches 3. So, using theorem number 2, the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 is just equal to f of 3. So, para madali tayong makapag-solve, 
kopyahin muna natin kung ano yung function natin dito sa given. So, ang function natin dito is f of x is equal to the logarithm of 3x plus 1 with base 10. Next, we're going to solve for f of 3. So, lahat lang ng x dito, papaltan lang natin ng 3. So, we'll have the logarithm of 3 times 3 plus 1. So, simplify natin class yung nasa loob ng parentheses. So, we'll have the logarithm of 9 plus 1. Kasi nga, 3 times 3 ay 9. And then, meron ka dyan plus 1. So, magiging logarithm of 10. Para class, may solve ito, i-transform muna natin into its exponential form. Ito. Okay? So, say we have x is equal to the logarithm of 10 with base 10. So, ilipat muna natin ito into its exponential form. So, again, kapag wala nakalagay dito na base, automatic 10 yung base nan. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 10 raised to x, ito yung magiging exponent, is equal to 10. So, itong 10 na to, galing dito. So, isasolve natin to. Ano kaya yung exponent na itong 10 dito sa right side para mag-equal yung dalawang side? Or, ano magiging value dapat ng x para mag-equal yung left and right side? Okay, correct. x uh, is equal to 1. Diba? Kasi, diba, pag ito ay 1, so 10 raised to 1, equal yan sa 10. And 10 is equal to 10. Hence, ang x natin dito ay 1. So, f of 3 is equal to 1. Therefore, the limit of the logarithm of 3x plus 1 with base 10 as x approaches 3 is equal to 1. So, mapapansin natin pareho nung na-compute natin kanina nung inobserve natin yung table of values. Ngayon, class, na naman natin yung sketch ng graph natin. So, kanina, ba? So, ang constant natin is 3. Habang lumalapit yung x value sa 3 from the left, papalapit naman yung y values natin dito sa 1. And then, habang lumalapit naman yung ating x values sa 3 from the right, yung y naman natin is still papalapit dito sa 1. Hence, the limit of the logarithm of 3x plus 1 with base 10 as x approaches 3 is equal to 1. 